morning, everyone. I love chocolate. I love coffee. I love my new car that my parents just got me. I love to be on this or that sporting team. The word love. We find it used so many different ways in our culture today that we forget sometimes what love really is. What is love? Love is giving of oneself to another. Ultimately, love is sacrifice. And we saw the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus on the cross for each and every one of us. And that he loves us unconditionally, that he gives of his total self for our salvation. We even know that he gives of his body, blood, soul, and divinity at Holy Mass. And in a few moments, we will be receiving Jesus' whole and entire body, blood, soul, and divinity in the most blessed sacrament. That is love. We find sometimes that, oh, we can just use the word love because that will lessen something that I actually have to do that is just or that is truthful. Because when I just use the word love, then I can skirt out of what I really need to do. But if you look at it, if you look at the words justice and love, love is a far more difficult thing to do. Because justice is giving one their due. You pay a certain amount to someone, let's say, for your oil change, and they render services for that. They change your oil in your car. If they don't, that's an injustice. But love, love is going beyond justice. Think of giving Christmas gifts, that is love. That is going beyond what you have to do because you care about someone, because you want to give of yourself to someone. Love is a difficult thing because it means giving of self. We heard in this morning's gospel, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Jesus is saying to us, I love you unconditionally and I give you my sacred heart because you are a child of God and I want to give you eternal life. Are we returning that love? Are we keeping Christ's commandments? Now all of us are in different places with Jesus right now in our lives. Some of us are the furthest away from Jesus. Some of us are the furthest away from God. And you might say to me, Father, I don't even want to talk about God. Yeah, I know I can take theology class and I can pass theology class, but you know what? It's just another academic subject to me. Some of us, yes, I love Jesus. I try my best. I go to Mass. I participate as best I can, but sometimes I fall. Sometimes I sin. Well, we all know that we sin. We all need our Lord's grace. And then some of us are, my relationship with God is awesome. I feel that He's right with me all the time. And I want to grow in that love even more each and every day. So wherever we're at, we need to keep growing. And hopefully those who are on that spectrum of, I don't even love God, I don't even want to know about God, and I'm forced because my parents are making me take theology of boiling because I have to as a boiling.
one of the students, we pray that your hearts will be changed. Just as it says in our first reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. Why does, why does God want to do this? Because you shall be my people and I will be your God. God loves us unconditionally. But we, as in any relationship, we have to remember that this is a two-way street. That we know that God loves us, but we have to reciprocate that love. We have to give that love back. And how do we do that? We do it by living our lives in faith. If you love me, keep my commandments. Very easy to say, but very difficult to do. Jesus never said, well, if you follow me, it's going to be easy. Don't worry about it. It's one of those religions that you really don't have to do a whole lot. No, what does he say? Pick up my cross. Pick up your cross and follow me. That means the daily burden of living as Christians. All of us struggle with that. But how beautiful it is that we encounter our Lord who loves us and who wants to give us his total heart. Today, we have the commissioning of your teachers in this new academic year. And think about it. To be a Catholic school teacher is to love. Because we know it's not about money. We know that it's about their faith. And it's that they love to teach you. And they want to make a difference in your life. And so we need to appreciate all that our teachers do for us because they love us by giving us truth. Your parents love you because they sacrifice themselves in order to pay for the tuition to send you to Boiling Catholic. Never take that for granted. Never take your, your time here at Boylan for granted because someone is sacrificing for you to be here. Whether it's your parents or maybe it's somebody in the family or maybe you receive assistance to come here. Don't ever take that gift for granted because someone loves you enough to send you to be educated here at Boiling Catholic High School. So what do we take from this homily today that Christ loves us and that we need to reciprocate that love to him? We need to give that love back through faith and essentially living out the commandments. May God bless you.